<laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that. Y'all hear the birds? <laughs> Nature's so pretty, bro. All right, man. So today's topic is about the fear of judgment. All right. Now, even me right now laying down in this grass, getting some sun, I had a fear. I'm like, people are going to be watching me. They're going to be, like, criticizing me. And I'm like, Jacob, just go out there and do it, bro. Why are you so afraid to be judged? Ask yourself that. Why are we so afraid to be judged? You know, why do I try so hard to fit in when I came here to stand out? You know, I was watching this video last night, and it put so much in perspective. It was like... If you feel like you're outcast, if you feel like that you're different, it's because you came here to pave new ways, man. But I've forgotten that. I just forgot about it. And now it's like re-hitting me, like all that information that I was learning back in 2020 and 2019. And so now it's really resurfacing. I'm having to revisit. So some of you guys, you will be revisiting all that old information and it's gonna really hit you to help you, you know? But why do we fear judgment? Like, somebody tell me in the comments, why do we fear being judged, you know? Type in the comments why you fear being judged. But I've learned this right here, man. The more we live in fear, the more we live in the fear of being judged is the prison that we are creating for ourselves. We're living in our own prison, is what I was trying to say. Like, I ain't gonna lie, being on YouTube, it has helped me in so many ways, but it has also damaged me because every single day I got thousands of people judging me and they don't even know me. Like right now they watching this video and they judging me, they criticize me. They don't even know me. They don't even know how long I've been doing YouTube or how many times I wanted to quit, how many times or how many people I've helped behind the scenes. So that's what we must learn is when a person is judging us, they're only judging themselves. And I learned that, like yesterday, a video hit my timeline. It was like when a person judge you, they're only judging their perception of you, meaning themselves. Like when I was younger, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I probably would have seen somebody laying in the grass like, look at that weird person. Just because I was in a different timeline. But now I'm like, I get why they out here. Well, I might see a person that's all about business and finances and we'd be like, dang, they're just an evil person. But you don't know what they've been through growing up. You don't know when they woke up and the lights off, no food in the refrigerator. You don't know their story. So what I'm saying is a lot of people don't know your story and they judge you for that. So what you gotta start to do is tell these people your story, man. Start a channel, bro. Even when you out here in the real world and they try to judge you, let them know, bro, I bought this car with my own money. I got this place with my own money. Nobody gave me nothing. Let them know. So if you're gonna give me 30,000, I go buy a scat pack. But if you ain't gonna give me 30,000, just be happy for what I do have. You know, let them people know, bro. Because some people will judge you and don't even know you. And I apologize to myself because I remember I was so afraid of being judged, bro. Especially with my spirituality, man, I was so afraid to be judged because I'm like, they think I'm demonic, they think I'm evil, they think I'm wicked. But I've learned they're only speaking from what they know and what they've been taught and what they see and perceive at the level they are, that they are at. But for me, I'm free. I'm happy. I'm true to myself. A lot of people live in misery, they, they live in fear, they live in judgment, but for me, I'm like, shit, fuck it. Like, why am I judging you because you look different or you act different? We all gotta leave this planet. I don't care what nobody say, you can read. I don't care what type of book you try to read to make yourself feel different, bruh. We all gotta leave this place. Until somebody come on this earth and they can't die, that's when I can say, okay, we all ain't the same, we all ain't one. But if everybody got to die on this planet, if everybody bleed the same color, bro, if everybody have to go through the same shit, like pay taxes and all this shit, bro, you're just like me. <laughs> you're just like me. You're no different than me, bro. 
And so you can come here and really not obey by the rules, bro. You're just like me. And I started to really live by the example, like, bro, how you judging me? You got to do the same thing I got to do. So love who you are, y'all. Love the person you are becoming. Even love the person that you keep hitting from the world. Because like I said, I was ashamed to express my spirituality. But I know that this world is very, very spiritual and I came here to awaken. And sometimes we can lose direction. But that's the whole gamma of Earth. You know, many people come here with talents and gifts and a mission, but because of life, because of the family, because of situations, they forget that calling, they forget that purpose, but it don't make them no less than me. It don't make them no different than me. It's just I have just found my voice and found what makes me happy and what's true to me. But it don't make me better. It don't make them no better. We all are one. But these dark forces, they know the more they control us through race, through religion, through politicians, we will forever be stuck. The more they control us through fear and agony, we'll forever be controlled. Because there's somebody out there that's gonna suffer on the other side, let's just be real. That's, and that's why they do it. They create the problem, and that problem is gonna create more problems, and then at that time, we're looking for a solution, but that solution is nothing but a trap. So it's just a repeat. We all out here fighting over the dumbest things and we need to be loving each other. I know this might sound like some far off stuff, but we gotta know this stuff, man. We gotta know, we gotta know this stuff. It's the only way. This is so peaceful. I hope y'all enjoying these new style of videos. I'm just trying stuff with this channel now. Because it's like, the more I live in a box, bro, people can put me in a box. But the more I'm just unknown. Like, today I'm riding my bike. The next day I'm just out here. The next day I might be in a big old mansion. Like, you just, you just never know. You, you, you never know. Like they say, never let your left hand know what your right hand and your right hand know what your left hand gonna do. You, you know, you just can't, you can't let them know. You know, I'm very mysterious, bro. I know that makes a lot of people like irritated because a lot of people get in my position and they just start to tell their business. They start to show where they live at and what car they drive and all this shit. But bro, I'm so private because I know there's a lot of weird ass spirits out there and you ain't gonna get me. You ain't gonna get me. I'm telling you, you ain't gonna get me, bro. To any monitoring spirit right now watching this video, you can't touch me. You know, can't no monitoring spirit stop me or hurt me or delay me because you have no power over me. And sometimes you gotta tell people that. That goes back to my video about, you know, judgment, bro. Like, people gonna judge, man, but you can't touch me, bro, because you didn't make me. And a lot of these people that are judging you, bro, they just unhappy with themselves and they judging themselves. You know, that's just like you starting your own business. They gonna be like, oh my God, he's just always working on this business. She's always working on her business. So what? You mad because you not? You mad because you don't have the energy, you don't have the passion to get out here and chase your dreams. So this person has found what makes them happy, now you mad? Like, nah, you can't do that, bro. Get out your feelings, get out here and grind. That's why I never understood why people steal from people. You gonna go take this person hard earned money because you don't wanna get out here and make your own. It's crazy, bro. We gotta stop blaming people for where we find ourselves and just take full responsibility. Like, I'm gonna say this right here, this might rub some of you guys the wrong way. I love my parents, but my parents ain't teach me everything. My parents ain't teach me about grounding out here and being in nature and manifestation. But my parents, they didn't teach me about all this stuff. So I had to go find it on my own. And when you go find things on your own, I promise you, bro, it's the best feeling in the world. You know, like I said, bro, like my family, they didn't teach me about spirituality. They didn't teach me about reincarnation and all this stuff I teach you guys. I had to go learn it on my own. But you know what? I feel good. 
I feel real good about that because we can't always blame our parents. They only taught us with what they knew. Was it right? No. But like I said, every day you're given a choice to be yourself. You're given a choice to show up as you. So if you know if your parents didn't teach you how to manifest or how to attain a good life, you need to listen to somebody that has, that has the information. But if you guys are enjoying these, I guess laying down with Jacob or sitting with Jacob, I don't, I don't really know what this is. Being in nature with Jacob, type it in the comments, man. We want more of these. I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. I love you guys so much. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video, man. Peace.